Hi, it's JK and Kim mm -hmm. in the camper van, and uh, wow, what a transformation. Jeez, what, when did we start this? Like March of last year? Yeah, about four months ago. We, I say we, but it was all <laughs> him. Um, well, not all me. We had some help. We uh, did a lot of things that are brand spanking new, and uh, it was uh, quite a quite more a lot more work than, than I think anticipated, we anticipated huh? and we threw a lot of work on a uh, company up in towards the cities to do our uh, electrical and all those upgrades and that was a lot more work than what he was thinking <laughs> so um, but it's done it's all done now it's amazing I I love the orange cabinets I mean they're so bright and cheerful mm -hmm. um, I love the configuration I you know, we're not the ones that are going to be putting a, a divider down and making it into a full bed. These are genuine, like, twin beds. They're smaller than a twin. Yep. Um, his is longer than mine. And um, it's designed to be that way because now we can make it a dinette, too, which I think is, mm -hmm. I can't wait to use this. This is going to be so fun. So it gives us a couple places now to sit other than trying to climb up on a fully made bed. So uh, it's given us a lot more options for things and for the dogs and uh, lots more storage and cabinet the drawers, drawers. The drawers have turned out just amazing. We got water back into our, our mm -hmm. rig. So you installed the water pump and got the jerry cans underneath. Uh, we got the toilet in here now yep. installed and we're gonna do that once and for all. We've had it for a while, but it's always been buried in the back and we've always used the restrooms in a in a gas station or the rest stop or the campground right. and uh, we're going to try to do this so we can do more boondocking we've got solar now we've got more battery power um we've air got conditioning air conditioning oh i can't wait for a hot summer day camping where i can turn on the air conditioning <laughs> most people want to be outside in the hot yeah I, most people want to be outside in the hot and i don't oh well but anyway, so that's that. Uh, we put a ton of work into it, and why don't we do a real quick recap of what we've done, and we'll kind of wrap that part up with the, the last pieces and the last bits of getting ready for our big shakedown cruise. And uh, it's gonna be uh, an amazing trip if everything works right. It's closer <laughs> to home, um, but we're gonna have some fun, and. Um, I, we probably won't use the air conditioning much. It's going to be cooler. So hmm. um, we're excited for the layout and just to see how it all jives with us and the dogs all in this place. Yep. So uh, thanks for watching, subscribing, being a part of our journeys and this whole big renovation uh, series. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen that, uh, we have a, what do you call it? Where you put all the videos in the one category. We have a playlist. Oh yeah, a playlist. And you can watch all the videos, if you dare. From beginning to end. Right. So uh, we're loving this so far. And come along with us and uh, we'll show you kind of in a fast speed up way. Speed it up way. How... Sped up way. Yeah. Sped up way. <laughs> Sped up way. How this went from, yeah. <laughs> An empty van to what you see now. Awesome job. Thank you. Finally back here with Sean from uh, Soda Solar. That's Minnesota yep. Solar, and uh, we gave him a challenge. That's for sure. In uh, yeah, dealing definitely. with our vans, we just went off of that and then used an existing breaker that you had to protect the main uh, 12 volt system.
Well, it is the <clears throat> moment of truth. Got the water tanks hooked up. The gray water is empty. I filled the uh, clear water up about a half, just under a half of the six gallons, seven gallons that it holds. Just enough to uh, test the water system to make sure there are no leaks, that the, the water pump and the accumulator tank are working and uh, that the sink works, the faucet works. So it's, this is the major, major step right now in, in completing the van. I've got a towel here just, just in case, but um, I'm feeling confident. I made sure that I tightened everything up, all the fittings, but just, you never know. So uh, we're gonna give it a go this morning. Hopefully it all works and we don't have any leaks and we'll be, uh, checking that one off of the list of things to finish up in the van okay here goes nothing turning on the water pump got water flowing into uh, the tanks I turn that off and double check from outside There is a little drip, and I think it's coming from the shutoff valve that's located up in here, of course. Yep. Need to grab a, a open end wrench and tighten that thing up. I'm trying to find it. Everything seems so easy to get to when the sink was out. <laughs> That's the culprit down in there. Well, I think I might have gotten it. <laughs> Better now than on the road. It's trying to burn the water. It's making me have to pee. What are you doing, Kim? Playing with fire. I know, you're dangerous. I'm a pyro. Oh, you're melting the ends of our new ties, huh? I think so. You think so? Yeah, I think that might work. Ooh. It's our cushion. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Are you, you serious? Yeah. Wow. Happy birthday to me. I have a cushion. <laughs> Careful. When you open it up, it's going to explode. This is a cushion for the top of our toilet box slash bench. I mean, the littlest box. I don't know how they do this. Like this, um, space bag kind space of bag yeah. Thing, yeah. 
they have super suckers instead of <laughs> Cover. Mighty wrinkly, would I add. Mm. This was supposed to be like a full leather. It's still full, oh, all right. It's still going to be very dog. It's got little sticky bumps on it. Mm -hmm. it on. Double wrap. Yep. This is like opening a present. Is a present inside of a present inside of a present. It's a big block of cheese. Mmm. <laughs> you should sure have. Boy, this is. That's something. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Help. Sure. Help, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Cushion. Outside, well, that's going to be awesome. And so it doesn't seem something. like it's going to be a lot of work when you're just like, oh, let's just change the bed and let's just do this, that, and the other. But the the hours that it took to really hone this in and, and make use of every inch of this space is, is a lot of work. Right. And especially when you're not doing it all the time, you don't have the... The CNC machine, right? The yeah. computer-aided the design the stuff and uh, lathes and laser cutters and all that to make it precision. This is old a school, old school <laughs> uh, folk art. <laughs> it's not perfect, handcrafted, but it's beautiful, and I and I love it. And I think you did an amazing job. I cannot wait to use it. It feels different in here, um, even mm -hmm. though there's in the in the idea of it it's just a small change but it's it still feels huge like a huge change in yep. here yeah it is so uh thanks for watching this video as we officially wrap up the renovation of our 2019 ford transit high roof 148 and uh, the join epic us. van what yeah. is it epic van makeover there it is <laughs> where's your cup <laughs> right here i threw it away <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that wraps that up and next video join us we're gonna head off to our shakedown cruise and that's gonna be an epic trip as well so be sure to subscribe like comment please we'd love to hear your comments and tell your friends we're, yeah. we're just trying to have fun travel and kind of getting into this whole thing eventually the dream is to do more and more so mm -hmm. We'll just keep at it. So thanks for following. Right. And if you see anything that uh, you might want to add to your van or your camper, uh, we have links down in the description for uh, some of the Amazon products. And uh, we'd appreciate that uh, you use those links. So till next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs>